Hi guys! For those who are new here, I'm Elise Roberta. Thank you for tuning in. For those of you that have seen my videos before, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking and walking you through step by step on how to achieve this plum princess look by yours truly. I am hoping to share some tips and tricks with you to help you achieve this look but also apply things that you've learnt to other looks that you create at home. So if you're interested in learning about this look and how I got here, please keep watching. So I'm taking you right to the beginning. Um, so. First of all, I'm gonna cleanse. So any oils um, on my skin from this morning, I'm gonna cleanse away with the Bioderma Sensor Bio H2O. Because I don't like using that kind of a bottle, I use this, which I picked up at Priceline. Um, and it's, I think it's actually for nail polish, but it comes empty and you can push down. So I just get two cotton pads together and I'll depress that a couple of times until they're moist. And then I'm just gonna go over my face. Just wiping away that surface oil. Off the face and just down the neck where I'm gonna be applying makeup for today's look. Gorgeous. So now that the skin is looking fresh, we're gonna start with some skincare serum. As you can see, well loved. I really like using their moisturizer. I round that out with my SPF 50, which is so important for skin protection. That one is broad spectrum, two hour water resistant. So I'm gonna slap all of this on. Starting with the Rejuvenate 15 Serum. So this one assists with skin regeneration and renewal. I think it's got pepper or something in it. I could have made that up just then. Because um, it's quite like a tingly sensation. Although because I've been using it for so long now. It doesn't have the same effects. My skin must be used to it. Let that kind of sink in for a hot sec. Then I'm going to go in with the moisturizer emulsify that in the hands I'm just going to push it into the skin okay so now that the moisturizer has sunken in a little bit I'm going to go on top of that with just this much I should have shown you how much I put in of the other products but so again I'm just going to emulsify that a lot of people say they don't like to wear sunscreen because it messes with the foundation or the makeup underneath um, that could be true for some I haven't tried many sunscreens um, under makeup I was one of those people that was like it's gonna ruin my look um, but this one from Skin Institute is so good and if I'm being like super lazy with my makeup, I actually use the um, sun cream and it works as a, good, as a good primer. And because I've decided I'm going in with a liquid lipstick today, I'm actually going to go in with this chapstick. This is a Carmex Moisture Plus. Um, you just get these at any price line if you're in the AU or... I don't know if they have them overseas. I'm gonna do my research on that one. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Feels good. So now we're gonna work on the base. With Touch and Souls No Problem Primer. Well loved as you can see. Um, I'll need to replenish this one very shortly. Um, annoyingly, glass jars. Why are we still putting makeup in? makeup skin products in glass jars because now I'm gonna have to resort to this just getting a bit on my finger not as hygienic as it could be so annoying though because you get so much wastage just patting that all over especially in my problem problem zone because we've all got to have problem zones right um which is my t-zone cover up those pores 
looking at that one. I'm actually going to try a tip that a lady from Mecca that worked at Mecca Maxima gave me. Um, and she actually suggested that I combine the um, tinted moisturizer before putting on the vanish stick. So I'm actually going to give that a go today. So because I ran out, she actually just gave me just a little pot of it. I'm going to go in with this flat brush by BH Cosmetics. I'm just going to dab a little bit into there. I'm just taking just a bit, probably a bit much more than I needed. I'm just going to dot that around the joint. And then I'm actually going to take my fingers and rub that in. Because fingers also make great tools. No matter how many makeup brushes you have, and I have tons, sometimes it's just get better to get in there with your own two hands and get the job done. So this actually provides really nice coverage and for the longest time I was actually using this as my base, it was my foundation. Um, because it is so lovely. Sorry, that's the Hourglass Illusion Tinted Moisturizer and I use it in the color Ivory. Just, you know, when you want to look like you actually have skin, it's really nice. Like you can see a couple of my freckles. I don't know if you guys can see them. Okay, so now the skin tint or tinted moisturizer is on. I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Vanish stick, which is like a really nice wind up, um, and I use this in the color porcelain. You can't see that, it's real little. Uh, so now I've spotted this all over my face. I'm gonna take my wonderfully fat um, Morphe M439 brush, which is lovely because it's got really densely packed bristles so it'll do a nice job of keeping it sick. I'll just kind of swirl it around when I normally do it. Just don't forget to swirl it around. Get that blend happening. Put a little bit on my ears. The colour is pretty spot on but just use this stippling motion to pat it in. And now I'm going to go in with some concealer under the eyes. Today I am using the Naked Skin Concealer by Urban Decay. I am wearing the color Fair Neutral. It's got a lovely little doe foot applicator which makes applying it really easy. So I'm just going to apply that under the eyes. That one's a bit wonky. It's okay. I'm actually going to put a little bit down the center of my nose. Um, I'm going to now take my beauty blender super spongy and soft. So now I'm just going to bounce this under the eyes and this is going to really lighten up the area. It's also going to cover up any darkness. How quick was that side? Did you see that? I'm going to use the same beauty sponge, beauty blender, um, and I've actually put some Laura Mercier setting powder just into the lid. Um, I'm just going to take a bit of that, tip that down, so you can see how much you can control how much I'm putting in. I'm just going to take that much and pop it under the eyes. And again, what this is going to do is really lock in that concealer. 
that we've just placed under there. Pop some in the middle of the nose. Um, so that's going to make sure it, it looks bright and stays bright throughout the day. I'm just going to take a really soft brush and whisk away that powder that I've just placed. Next we're going to do a little bit of contouring. Um, totally not scary at all. I'm using the KKW Beauty Contour Sticks. These ones are dual ended and they're wind up. So this one is the medium stick and they've, it's actually got slightly different colours. One's cooler tone and one's warmer tone. Um, <laughs> cool is this light? It's contour, who cares? Um, so what I'm going to do is basically find the um, cheekbones uh, and accentuate the natural um, definition under there just to make my cheekbones stand out more than they do. So I kind of just curve it around like a really wide C. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Are they even? No. Does it matter? No. Because we'll be blending it out. We're not leaving it like this. Believe that or not. Um, I'm also going to just put a little bit around the edge of the hairline. Um, I don't really have that much of a wide forehead, so um, I just keep the contouring quite light. Um, contouring can make a big difference to um, someone's forehead if they do have a, a wider forehead um, because it can make it look more shallow than it actually is. So because my forehead is not um, very wide, I just keep the contouring quite light. And then I'm just going to really lightly draw a couple of lines either side of my nose. And the effect that this is going to give is a more narrow nose. I'm not really hung up on my nose or anything, it's just part of the look I'm going for today. Oh, itchy, itchy, itchy. <laughs> Um, so then I'm now going in with, um, this is a really old um, brush actually, this is a Real Techniques um, brush, it's like also really quite dense, um, which is nice uh, for buffing in some contour. It's not going to move it around too much, it's going to keep it quite thick rather than dispersing it out. So I'm just going to show you, I'm just going to go easy to begin with, kind of just following the shape of the contour with the flat shape of the brush. I'm going to kind of stipple it there. The good news about going in with a light hand is that you can always apply more. It's just like cooking in a way that, you know, you can't take more out unless you're going to start to actually remove makeup. Um, but you can always add more if the look that you're going for calls for it. Yeah, and now I'm just kind of going to lightly, I'm not applying too much pressure here, I'm just going to lightly sweep over that contour. Oh, little baby hairs are in the way. Here we go. This one takes a minute longer, which is why sometimes I just don't do it. But it's the weekend and I've got some time. So you can see it is a bit darker, I haven't completely moved it away. I'm just going to take my blending brush again and just kind of go down the middle. That definition that I created earlier. So now I'm going to add a bit more colour to my cheeks. And today I'm going to go in with the BH Cosmetics Floral Blush. This one is in the colour Bahama Breeze. It's really pretty. This is the brush that I'm going to be using for my blush. So all I'm going to do is just 
pat it in there. Not pressing too hard, I don't want to have crazy cheeks. Just gonna apply that kind of to where the highest point is, which is just here with the colour. And I'm gonna go back in again and do the other side. I can start blending. Just do a circular motion. I don't have a heavy hand at all. Actually gonna take just a touch more and thumbs up. Top of the forehead hairline. And again, like I said, it's just like cooking. You can always add more if you want more colour. Just becomes an issue when you've gone in with a heavy hand and you can't take it away without taking off makeup. Next, I'm going in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. And this is in the colour Dim Light. I think this may have been the very first Hourglass product I ever purchased. Um, this powder is like a, it's like really sexy mood lighting for your face. Like the best lighting ever, just naturally. There it is. It's glowy. It's really, really finely milled but pressed glowy powder. I can't even describe it. You should just get it. Okay, now I'm just going to apply it. A brand that I really like is BH Cosmetics. So I think I probably found this brand maybe about four years ago-ish. Basically it's a US brand, it's online. I don't know if they sell it in stores over there, um, but it is so affordable. It is worth checking out and don't tell your credit card that I sent you. But my favorite at the moment is a BH Cosmetics palette. Well loved. Um, this one is the Spotlight Highlight 6 color palette. And I'll just show you how well loved it is. I tried cleaning it up for you, but I've loved it that much that it just can't be cleaned. So we're gonna have to move along. So in terms of brushes, I'm going to be using this Real Techniques fan brush. I think I'm feeling this pink one here. It's called Ethereal. So I'm just going to, ooh. So I'm just going to lightly dust in and dust on. So just above where I've applied that blush, I'm going to not take it too low, keep it quite high. It's important to blend out highlighter in my book. I don't want it to look like an actual stripe on the face. Everything's supposed to look natural. Now I'm going to move on to eyes. This is my favourite palette at the moment. This is the Too Faced Chocolate Bon Bon Eyeshadow Palette. <gasps> so pretty! So I'm going in with a few different brushes here. Um, these three here. Whoops. Sorry. These two are our fluffy blending brushes. Um, so we've got one by BH Cosmetics and one by Morphe. This is the M330. This is actually my favorite brush for eyeshadow looks. I think I need to get like three or four more so I can just use that brush because it's gorgeous. Another brush here, which is really nice for blending as well. It's not as soft as the others from BH Cosmetics. And then I've got the Morphe M321. Um, this, as you can see by the end, is a pencil brush. And this is going to be really nice for going under the eye, which you will see what I do there. So, so taking this brush here, I'm going to dip into Almond Truffle. and take it into the crease, which is where the half moon appears on the eye. 
pushes through here. And what this is doing is creating some depth. It's also going to be a nice color that we can blend the other colors we use on the eye into. So it's like our primary or our base color. I'm going to use the same brush to go a darker shade. Um, which is okay because I'm not planning on going lighter with this one again. If I was planning on going lighter, I would have a separate brush. So I'm going to take Mocha onto the same brush and just darken the very outer corner. I'm not going all the way around like I did with Almond Truffle. going in darker again with this brush and this time I'm going to go into Bordeaux and just going under the transition or the half moon more onto the lid in other words I'm going to take this flat brush by BH Cosmetics and tap into Totally Fetch, which is this gorgeous, almost neon pink. And just kind of like place it. I'm not gonna worry about being super neat right now because our handy dandy blending brushes will help us to Tidy it up. Bit my slow. I'm going to take my favorite Morphe blending brush. I'm just going to dip into Totally Fetch a little bit, just like putting the tiniest amount on. And then just windshield wiper motion, as people call it. So essentially what this is doing is blending or softening out the colors that I've applied. So you've got that almond truffle that's in the crease um, with mocha and Bordeaux with the Totally Fetch color, uh, with Totally Fetch and blending them all together so they look seamless. And that's just running that through the crease. Then using the other blending brush, which is the clean blending brush, I'm going to actually take it to the outside of like the highest point of where the eyeshadow appears because we want it to really essentially fade into nothing. So there's no harsh lines. And when you're happy with the harshness, um, you can stop blending that. I'm going to go back in with this brush just because I want to deepen that out of, out of V. That's what we call the outside. Just go back in with Bordeaux and just tuck it in. So now um, I'm going back in, I'm going to go in with the Morphe pencil brush um, and I'm going to concentrate on bringing this look on the top of the lid just under just to really just to really close the loop on that one so um, similarly to what I did on the top of the eye I'm going to start from the lightest color to the darkest um, and layer those um, to get a really seamless look so starting with almond truffle under the eyelashes just be gentle you don't want to poke yourself in the eye Top. Are you one of those people that has to have their mouth open when doing anything around the eyes? I certainly am. 
Um, so now I'm going in with mocha, so we're starting to darken it. Um, as well, what I'm going to do is as I get darker and darker, I'm going to concentrate further up to the corner of the eye. So I brought almond truffle all the way around. All the darker colors to follow will be further towards the end of the eye. So I'll probably bring this one about halfway. Starting to build again with a really, really light hand. I'm going to take Bordeaux. And just take it just less than a quarter of the way out. I'm going to flick a bit of that off. Because I'm going to use the same brush as well to go in with Totally Fetch, our gorgeous pink colour. Just slightly tap that onto the brush and then I'm going to go over the whole thing. So now I've done under my eyes. Similarly to what we've done on the top with blending it out, we need to make sure that the bottom is seamlessly blended out as well. So I'm going to go back in with that clean brush I used earlier for the top and I'm going to just, not on top of the collar I've applied, but just to the outside. Just. Now while we're concentrating up here, I'm going to work on my eyebrows. My sister actually recommended this to me, the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. The thing about this is you've got the wind up pencil on the one side, but then flip it over. You've got this spoolie that's always ready to go. So, I'm gonna take this spoolie and brush my brows up. And with a really, really light hand, start to mark out my eyebrows. So right now I'm underlining the shape. outlining this shape I should say. I'm making the tail quite a bit longer than it naturally is because I do prefer that look. And then wherever I've got any sparse spots I'm going to lightly colour them in. And then when we, when we get to the front I do like it a bit more natural rather than a solid um, thick line. So from the bottom up tiny little strokes, mimicking hair just to make it a little bit fuller than it actually is. Nothing too defined at the front because I do prefer it to look more natural. Essentially for me I use the spoolie to blend as well so I kind of press and shape um, any lines that I have drawn on a bit too harsh. Um, the spoolie can correct them as well, blur them out a bit. So there's our one eyebrow. I'm going to go into the other side. This is always my manky eyebrow. Do you guys have a manky eyebrow where one is like oh, Beyonce and the other one's just like, I should have stayed in bed. This one today is housing an ultra favour of mine um, for highlighting um, around the eyes. It is Nylon by MAC. If you don't got it, get it. It's gorgeous and you'll see why shortly. So I'm just going to dip into Nylon with that tiny, tiny brush. And just in the corner, I'm going to apply it just like that. It's okay. Cute. I'm also gonna pop a little bit under the brow. I 
okay so now that our eyes and eyebrows are done I'm gonna give you a few different options depending on how bold you want your eye to look or not so you can always stop with mascara but some people prefer to use eyeliner some people refer to prefer to have a wing on top um, so I'm gonna give you those options as well and as I go you'll see how that look builds depending on how much you apply I'm using the L'Oreal Paris Paradise Ecstatic which I would actually liken to two faces better than sex because of the want. And it is a hell of a lot cheaper, especially when you can get it on sale at drugstores like Priceline or Chemist Warehouse. So going to be super careful when applying with this brush because it is thick and luscious, but I don't want to end up with mascara on all of the hard work I've just done on applying eyeshadow. So curling like this, curling like that, also give them a zigzag to make sure that they're not getting too clumpy. So I just do a layer over the top and then I do the inside, just like the opposite curl. I'm pretty happy with that eye. Open your mouth slightly. Because <laughs> that's how you get it done. There we go. Okay. So, this is look one. And what I can do next to show you um, will actually give us a completely different look. I'm going to apply mascara to the bottom lashes as well. So at the moment, we're kind of focusing on the top of the eye where it's like, wow, there's crazy volume there. We're going to balance it out by putting mascara on the bottom. You don't have to do it. I don't always do it, but it is a look that you could do. So just kind of looking down, I just kind of press, press it on the lashes and then just run it slightly underneath to make sure that you're getting all of the length out and then on the other side I call it like a little kiss just give it a little kiss Okay, so now that we've got mascara all done, I'm going to show you the next step that you could take if you wanted to. Um, so this time we're looking at a winged eyeliner and my favorite at the moment is Kat Von D's Ink Liner, which looks like this. And you can see how tiny that felt tip is, which allows you to be really precise. So what I'm going to do today is actually start from the inside of my eye really, really fine and slowly build out the thickness as I move toward the outside of my eye. So I'm barely going to So now what we're looking at is um, barely a line towards the inside. And as you can see, what I've done here is I've just got a line that goes straight up. Now what we need to do is take the um, top of the wing and connect it back down. So it's kind of just like a little, it's a really, really fine triangle. Yeah, that's a bit better. 
Um, and now remembering that the sisters are not twins, I'm gonna go and do the other side now. Black, black, black. What do you think? Even enough? Awesome. So now I'm going to show you another step that you can take to make the look a little bit more dramatic if you wanted to. So I'm going to show you what the look will look like with some eyeliner um, in the waterline. It's just a standard cold pencil. So now I'm going to go into the waterline. I'm just going to lightly pull it down. And from the outside to the inside corner, I'm going to colour in my waterline black. The, and so now it's meeting the highlighter that we put on our inner corners. So this is the look again, a little bit more dramatic with eyeliner on the inside of the eye. You could even take it a step further, of course, and add false lashes. So the final piece of the look is a lipstick for today. So if you remember earlier, I did apply some Carmex lip balm to my lips. You can actually wipe it all away, which is exactly what I'm about to do. So taking a tissue, I'm going to just pop it on my finger and wipe it off. And I'm already seeing the foundation and powders that um, have come onto my lips through putting makeup on. Here we go. Beautiful. So today I am wearing Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in the color Mannequin. And it looks a little something like this. This is a gorgeous neutral lip color. Um, I find it's kind of like a your lips but better type color, definitely for me. Um, again, it comes with a doe foot applicator and there's something about this doe foot that just makes it so easy to apply. So I'm going to dive into this guy and with a couple of swipes, we're going to be done. So with the top lip, because we are looking for um, that, you know, defined top lip, um, I tend to do a cross. I don't know if you just saw that, but cross down to get the arch of my, the top of my lip. And then on the other side, I do the same thing. Perfect. Mm, beautiful. I love this color so much. I'm the kind of girl that wants to basically put the makeup on and I don't want to touch it, I don't want to think about it, I don't want to talk about it all day until I'm taking it off. So Jeffree Star's liquid lips work so well for me because I literally put it on in the morning first thing, go about my day, I have, I'm have. i drinking coffee, I'm drinking tea, I'm drinking water, I'm having lunch, I'm having an afternoon snack and even when I get home, it's still wearing really well. A few of the darker colors, they'll be showing their wear by the end of the day. If I felt like it, I could reapply. Do I? No. So basically, Jeffree Star, awesome. So with that, this is our finished look. I'm just gonna take my hair out, put some earrings on. Cause girl, are you really dressed if you're not wearing earrings? So there she is, there's the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!